knuckles for eight. And we will answer Master Doro Hirim. Today we're gonna play 1 vs 7 with Konzo against 7 hard armies in BFME 1 without a castle. Let's get it started. That's gonna be a tough one. Gonzo against 7 random hard armies. We don't know, you know, who we're playing against. It might be Isengard, it might be Mordor, it might be Rohan, it might be even Gonzo. Or it might be every single one of them. But it doesn't matter. Regardless who's gonna come. We're gonna defeat him. We're gonna start with two blacksmiths into, inside the base and recruit the hobbit Pippin. Peregrine Took, as Gandalf would like to call him. And we already see one eye of Sauron, which means we have at least, at bare minimum, one more the opponent to face against. But we are playing with the white tree. I, have some bacon? I mean, we are playing against seven, but this guy only cares about the bacon. Really, Pippin? Really? So yeah, I believe Gondo is gonna be the hardest one because Gonzo in BFME 1 is known for the for the strong defense with the walls, with the laser towers from the Stormworker. And generally with the great defense. However, the defense, the Stormworker and the Battle Towers, they are having zero impact in this map. Because in this map we are playing with a castle. That's our base. We got only six spots. And unlike all the other factions like Mordor, Rohan or even Isengard, we have even less towers. We have only 4 towers unlike all the other factions. So our defense is gonna be pretty weak. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick up the Alvin Wood guys and pre uh, place it right in front of the gate. Just like that. Because this way the enemy units are gonna lose their leadership bonuses if they are entering this area. Let's try to get this one as well, shall we? Okay, we do see Isengard here, by the way, guys, uh, at the left side of the map. And he's building up two furnaces and also the armory as well as Urukpet. You can see how rich he is actually already. Let's cloak the Hobbit right <laughs> at the spot, just why not. Yield one more uh, blacksmith. And now we're gonna try to save for the captain of Gonzo, Faramir. But before that, we're gonna make also two towers just to be, just to be safe. There are some crossbowmen on the fields now from the Isengard player. Heart Army, his name is. <laughs> and yeah, uh, the plan is simple. We need to get Faramir and Boromir on the field and we need to get some Rangers. Uh, because with Rohan, we were trying to win with Rohirrim and Rohirrim matches, but with Gonzo, we're gonna try to win with some Rangers we instead. Improve the, improve the Smithy, which is level 2 now, which means more money and also more resistant. And Blacksmiths, by the way, from the Gondor faction are way more resistant than farms. Farms, they have only... Uh, 1500 HP with level 1, while blacksmiths have um, 3000 HP with level 1. And Eye of Sauron is gonna be used one more time. Let's make two more towers, shall we? Let's make a well here. And then we're gonna go for the, uh, for the archer range here. Because we will need some archers pretty much now, if we want to be able to defend ourselves. Oh, but Eye of Sauron was also able to reveal the Hobbit. <laughs> Come on, dude, don't do that to me. Run, Peregrine Took. Run, you fool. Pressing S all the time, making the enemy units buggy. Maybe we can... Oh, but he's still using I, so we cannot get stealth, by the way. If you don't know, the Eye of Sauron is not only able to give you additional damage leadership, but also combat experience. However, it's also able to reveal the stealth units. Can I get four... We're gonna go for one archer, actually, from this one. Let's try to protect the farms, but there are many Urukai, and those are not orcs, those are Urukai. Their armor is thick and their shield broad. You gotta get Warami on the field as soon as possible. Farami is the la last man standing, pretty much. We have no, uh, no heal for Farami, by the way. But now we have heal, which is really nice, and we might need that. His brother is gonna be joining his, uh, his brother on the, on the battlefield very, very soon. Let's now try to defend ourselves also with the archers, shall we? We are also seeing now some Gondor archers on the field from the opponent. Isengard is going to be able to destroy both the farms quite easily. And there comes Boromir for the glory of Gondor. And we will need some more archers before... I mean, one more archer, then we will be able to get the archer range to level 2. There we go. Now we can recruit some of the, in my opinion, the best archers in the game in BFME 1. The rangers. And we're gonna try to get our heroes to level 4 for Boromir to unlock the leadership and to level 5 for Faramir to unlock also his leadership. We can also place them right next to each other 
This way they are able to level up faster because they are going to be able to share experience. Boromir is tanky, but we might be in trouble. Level 5 unlocked with Faramir, and also level 4 unlocked with Boromir. It means we have leadership now. Let's place the rangers a little bit behind. So they don't get one-shotted. There are just too many units now to deal with. We might need to use um, the Rohan allies now for defense. Uh, I don't want to lose my rangers because they are really expensive. Let's also purchase the Fire upgrade, shall we? And let's try to get the farm spec under our control, which would be quite nice. But for now, we are safe. And we have double leadership. Rangers and uh, Faramir Boromir combination should be fine. There is Lords on the field. Uh, we can use one of the Rohirrim to actually kill this mill, shall we? Oh, but he was able to buy this farm for some reason. Uh, fire upgrade purchase, which is quite nice. Let's get one more Ranger on the field if he can afford it, of course. We can use also Bonding Arrow now on this. Never mind, I think the Rohirrim, they're going to be able to take him down anyway. Destroy this one, please. They have also enough power points now for the Alvin allies, but actually let's skip this one. For now, but because I would like to get Gandalf on the field later. Okay, let's get the second Ranger for defense. And we might also need... Uh, I'm gonna use the second Elven Wood right there. We might also need the, uh, the statue for more leadership re uh, later on. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Now we have two Rangers on the field, pretty good. We have almost no money. And yeah, Gondor is not gonna get that much money because unlike Rohan, who has Eomir for example, which means you get money every time you kill... Oh, be, don't be careful, don't wanna fight in the melee range against Urukai. Alright, Boromir can also use Horn of Gondor, just why not? We are losing the Rangers very fast actually because they are being stuck in between the enemy units. But now Boromir was able to stun the enemy units with the Horn of Gondor. That's gonna buy us some time for the Rangers to clean up. And once again, as long as Boromir is nearby, they're gonna also deal 60% more damage. Let's go for the Eagle Allies summon, shall we? Because I believe uh, we will get the power points for Gandalf to ride anyway by the time we have the money. We have not that much money as you can see. And what I'm gonna potentially do here, guys, is I'm going to demolish this blacksmith. It sounds crazy, I know, because we have no money, but we have to do it. Let's go for a well. We're gonna demolish this well and build up a statue here just for more uh, leadership. Which means 100% more damage leadership, by the way, from this building. As well as 100% more combat experience. Okay, we're gonna get one more on the field. I think this is not gonna be enough in long terms. Looks like we're gonna lose the... Look, this Eye of Sauron is scaring off the enemy, uh, our units. They need to be careful, though. They are not shooting for some reason. Shoot them. Boromir's Horn of Gondi is on cooldown. The statue is going down. We have level 6 now. Let's give uh, levels to this ranges, shall we? So they are level 2. They have more damage output. Luckily, their leadership is getting negated right now. We're gonna rebuild these towers as soon as possible. Horn of Conde is almost back up. We're gonna right click on it, so he's gonna use it automatically whenever it's available. Level 7 for Captain of Kondo, Faramir. And we can also use combat experience to level up these rangers, shall we? Now we have the statue and we have a lot of leadership. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. But we don't wanna lose our heroes. We gotta be extremely careful. One of the rangers is quite slow. Let's try to disengage. Why they are not shooting? I don't understand. Kill this Faramir, please. Okay, there goes Faramir. We're gonna de demolish the towers because I believe they are body blocking us. Don't lose the ranges micro around whenever they are low. We are getting a lot of power points collected. Can now once again use Rohirrim allies defensively. Our heroes are leveling up very, very nicely, but there are too many berserkers on the fields now. Holy Quacamole, kill them, please. We're gonna try to save for... Uh, we're gonna try to save now for Gandalf. But we lost a lot of rangers, didn't we? I think we lost one battalion, unfortunately, but it is so it is. Uh, level 4 and level almost 4 too, which is pretty good. And we have almost the power points we need already for uh, for AOD, for Army of the Dead. Which is, oh, but we gotta kill these trebuchets, man. We are not ready to deal with trebuchets just yet. Destroy the siege works as soon as possible. I hope we will get the time you need with the Rohirrim to take it down. It looks like we will, which is gonna be nice. We need to delay his uh, siege weapons at this point of the game. Alright, let's. We can actually place this uh, units now in the front side, just like that. So they can fight outside, which should be fine. 
They have a lot of leadership. They have the statue, which is still in the range. It's oh, but there are some ballistas. Holy moly, we need to use the eagles now. We gotta take down these ballistas as soon as possible. And kill this trebuchet right after. There is also Saruman on the field, I see. Even mines are coming, but we gotta kill Saruman first. We have no heal available, but we have army of the dead available now. Maybe saving for Boromir, uh, I mean for Gandalf is a mistake and we would need some more units on the field, but I'm gonna try to risk the biscuit. Let's kill the siege weapons, shall we? And that's gonna be kinda annoying to deal with, because... Um, oh, but our rangers are dying, they are focusing them down. I don't wanna use AOD just yet, uh, Boromir has potentially... No, he was using already Horn of Gonzo. Escape with the rangers, please, try to get in safety. Look this, Berserkers, they are dealing so much damage, one-shooting everything. Boromir is down. We gotta use AOD if we wanna survive this. I cannot believe it. We are actually losing this game. <laughs> and yeah, Gondor has not a strong defense. Maybe we should be going for the Gondor Knights, I'm not sure. Try to defend ourselves, shall we? Let's make this towers once again. We gotta get Boromir back on the, on the field, as well as some Rangers. Uh, we gotta bring some of the battalions, and we need to also use the Elven allies for the... For the defense. That's the strong part about um, Gonzo. We have the most summons. Kill this, please. We need to defend until Boromir is back in the business. Very important. And holy guacamole is his heart. And Ballistas are coming next. AOD is gone. We couldn't even kill the Ballistas, unfortunately for us. Uh, elves are doing nice for now, defending. We need some more rangers on the field, definitely. And we have no money. That's the problem. We have only three resource buildings inside the base. That's it. And our rangers, they are very strong, yeah, they are like glass cannons, but they are all about dealing damage, you know. They are having zero tankiness. That's why the enemy uh, berserkers are able to one-shot them pretty much. We can also go for the cloud break. To stun the enemy units to be able to stall and deal with the ballistas. Let's actually stun them now. We can put them out now and join them with Faramir too. Let's kill this berserker first, shall we? Kill back and kill the Ballistas first, because Ballistas are gonna one-shot everything that we have on the field, pretty much. And look how many Ballistas he's sending forward, and trebuchets, and everything. Okay, Boromir is back in the business, which is quite nice. We can join this unit, shall we? Let's make some more rangers too. And let's try to find some more Ballistas. Because he's gonna definitely some, send some more uh, ballistas. There is some mine, kill him. Nice, okay. Always make sure to kill him in time before he is gonna be able to get close to our side of the map. We are getting some more ranges on the fields now, which is gonna be nice. But the thing is, we are only command, you know, we have only 80 command points and we can't even make more units now at this point of the game, as you can see. Put them next to each other so we can use double captain of Gondor to level them up. The more levels, the more DPS. Gandalf is getting targeted, and now our ranges are level 2 at least. That means they will be also having more damage output. And I believe we need to try to get this farm back uh, with the one ranger, because we have no money. That's pretty, pretty unfortunate, but it is how it is. Um, and the thing is, we cannot even recruit Gandalf now, because Gandalf, if you don't know, costs also command points. We need to kill this as soon as possible. Alright, Boromir can use Horn of Gondor maybe. Kill this trebuchet, please. Stun the enemy units, very good. We, call, we kill this trebuchets, put them close to the, to the units. There is Gandalf coming as well. Boromir's Horn of Gondor is actually pretty impactful in this one, I like that. But let's go back before we lose more units, because the Rangers, again, they are very strong in terms of damage output, but they are very squishy, and they get one-shotted pretty much. Rowan allies is on cooldown, so we need to kill these trebuchets manually. But kill this Kanda first. We have a lot of power points, but what's the matter if we can't survive? We gotta kill these units first, and then take down the trebuchets right after. The siege continues, and we couldn't even touch one of the bases from the opening player just yet. And it looks like he will be able to destroy this farm, unfortunately, once again. We gotta, we gotta try to keep this one alive, by the way. Can I, ta can I target this? Uh, Urukai, there we go. Let's try. We're gonna use heal here, just why not? Now maybe we can try to see for Gandalf, but once again, you know, this is quite tough. Let's use also Elvin Woods here, shall we? Oh, there we go. 
Alright, Sauron is down. That's good. More siege weapons, more problem, more fiesta. We gotta use the eagles for that. Kill the siege works from this thing. Oh, we need to peel back now. Kill this, please. And you kill this one. Don't sleep. And there comes the mine. We, we should not be targeting the mine, by the way, by all means, guys. We need to kill this Lourdes. And don't target the mine, okay? Kill Theodian next. Mine. Kill it, kill it with Boromir. There we go, that's good. Eagles are almost gone, and we couldn't even kill this because I was not focusing. We gotta use both the summons to destroy this outpost, shall we? Alright. We, we gotta try to now fight for this outpost, guys. Very important. Let's kill this one, shall we? Okay. This is down. That's good. Uh, we can also try to kill this Tita now with this... Um... Oh, but there is an end mood coming up. Holy guacamole. Oh, man. This is so tough, dude. Join them, Faramir. Give them more leadership. Kill these Berserker units first. Before they one-shot our rangers, just like that. Look how many he's sending forward with the torches. But they are getting one-shotted luckily for us. Now we gotta kill this end mood. And we are not even able to destroy this yet. Kill, the, kill this first. Kill this first. Kill this first. And we won't be able to destroy this, unfortunately. Oh, our heroes. Boromir, please don't get one-shotted here. Uh oh, we gotta peel back now. This ant is raging on us. I'm gonna try and pull down all our, all our units. That's the very unfortunate part about it. And we couldn't even kill this. We're gonna use the AOD now defensively and destroy this outpost, please, as soon as possible. We are getting some more ants on the fields now. We have almost the money for, we need for Gandalf, but we cannot even recruit Gandalf because we are full on command points. What a fiesta game! What a tough game! What a hard game! All right. Oh, don't attack the... Oh my goodness. We attacked this, unfortunately. Kill this end mood. We can now buy this outpost, maybe? That would be the dream, if we can. Alright, we bought it, which is quite nice. And... Oh, but there are some more ends coming! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Before he actually one-shots us. Destroy this end mood now, make a statue here. Put this ranges inside of that, shall we? Let's make double farm here as well. Use Boromir to buy this farm back. And now we can destroy this end mood finally. And kill this end, no big deal, right? Because the ends are very vulnerable, as you guys know, against fire. Oh, there is another end mood coming up. Are you kidding me, dude? How many? Ant mood all the time. Take them out. The farm is ready. Kill his ants we have. I mean, we are killing stuff, but we cannot even get power points anymore because we are full on command uh, power points, as you can see. More ants. Kill this mine before he reaches our side. Burn them. One by one. By one. And then just disengage now because Boromir is not around. So Boromir has to be around to give leadership, of course. Damage leadership. And he's trampling down all our ranges just like that. Paramir's warning arrow is also dealing bonus damage. Don't kill this! Explosive mine. Kill the explosive mine with uh, Faramir. Kill these rangers. And there come the Rohirrim reinforcements from the opponent. And also, this is not affecting him, by the way. We have now enough power points. We lost this outpost too. And we are gonna use the Rohirrim summon now defensively. We lost all our rangers, unfortunately. And the siege will begin. Use one of these. There is Gandalf also on the field. We need to kill him. The combination of Faramir's wounding arrow. And uh, the Zita is getting sieged. We need some more ranges on the field. But we have no money. I mean, we have no units. We have we can't even afford to make units. Because we keep losing stuff. Um, yeah, what we gonna... There is one ranger left. Okay, that's good. Level 7. And there comes Gandalf just in time. Use Isterite, please, to kill him. We're gonna use the... Uh, 
Eagle summoned defensively to kill finally this end mood. This is unbelievable, but this end mood is still remaining. Oh my goodness. Kill this, please. We lost the statue and a lot actually from this fight. Boromir, 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 please save him, Eagles. Please do something. We are getting some more ranges on the field, which is good. Ooh, but this is so tough, dude. This is so tough. I don't know if he can do it. Where is Gandalf? Uh, Gandalf, we need to get him mounted. We need to get him level 10. There is a lot of stuff we have to be doing now in order to win this game. This is much, much easier set than done. So we have Gandalf. Is this the opening eagle? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is. Oh, it's, it's, it's not. It's actually my eagle. I'm kind of confused now. A lot of stuff is happening. Boromir close to them. We gotta try we gotta try to take down this outpost, by the way, guys. That's what we have to do. Yeah, we're gonna use the Visa Plus against this. Stormworker Marketplace and Siege Warriors. That's how much money he has. Use Visa Plus. There we go. Eagle is gone. We gotta wait for the Rohan Ally summon in AOD. But look at the damage he's dealing with the Wanding Arrow, and our hero is immediately forced to disengage. Kill this, please, in time. There we go. They heal up with Gandalf over time, by the way, which is very important. He's quite slow. Okay, we gotta make this towers again. If almost the EOD back up in the business, which is gonna be nice. Use one arrow against against this dude, please. We can use Easter Light against Eomir to kill him. To get some levels on our Gandalf. Almost level 6. Level 10 is gonna be the time for the White Wizard Mifrandia to shine. And I believe, because I'm struggling so much in this one, if you can still make it work, and if you can win this one, guys, I hope that you're gonna like a video and also follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash beyondstandard. The link is in the description down below. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we gotta kill this first. That's what we gotta do. Um, with Gandalf, there we go. Kill this Faramir right after. I mean, he should be, they should be killing Faramir quite fast, right? Okay, there we go, level 9 unlocked, that's pretty good. We gotta keep an eye also around this area, but for now we're gonna try to not use the AOD to destroy this outpost all only. We gotta kill this uh, trebuchets first from Gondo, and then gonna try to destroy this outpost right after. Don't kill my rangers, I'm telling you. Dodge, 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 so he's not able to hit us. Alright, now destroy this outpost, please. We can also use Easter Light to burst it down. We can now place our units in the front. Thanks for the follow on the Twitch channel. Oh, but oh, be careful! Don't lose your units, just like that. And now move forward to check this area and to potentially end up catching some of this um, trebuchets before they reach our side of the map. Okay, we're gonna put this ranges inside of that, shall we? And gonna try to take down this farm by this farm as well. Now, once the statue is up, we should be in a good spot. And now what we can do is... Uh, first of all, destroy this. Okay, that's what we're gonna do now. I hope he's not gonna send more trebuchets. And we should be at least able for a couple of minutes to keep this outpost alive. It would be nice. By this farm. Because we are struggling money-wise still. And let's move forward now. And we're gonna kill... Uh, this Isengard base. For that reason, we're gonna use AOD first. So to make them tank every damage, by the way, from these towers and stuff. And also all the units around this area. Now we can focus on the buildings. We killed also the mine, which is very good. Gandalf can also give experience, I mean, experience and armor leadership. Kill the Zita first. Kill these ballistas with the second one. Kill the ballistas, very important to destroy the ballistas in time. Before they're gonna kill everything from us. Kill this one as well, please. In the meantime, our outpost is still remaining on the field, which is good. Please attack. Uh, he's gonna potentially even send some more very soon. Use Wizard Blast. Destroy this one as well. Cloud Prages, why not? To stun them, put Boromir next to the Rangers to spot them with leadership. And we can also summon the Eagles, maybe, just why not? 
Let's ride through the rangers and we can heal them all together with Gandalf. Just like that. Nice. Use lightning swords here. Kill this level 3 furnace, shall we? Okay, explosive money exploded. Okay, Gandalf is doing a nice job. In the meantime, our outpost is getting sniped down, though. Kill this, please. Kill this, please. We need to destroy this Isengard. Don't stop. It must be stopped, but don't stop, Gandalf. Not you has to stop. I believe we have to make some... On the Knights. I hate to do it because I would like to win only with rangers, but I feel like this is going to be nearly impossible because we are getting spammed too many times with catapults and stuff. Maybe we can save them. We're going to be able to save them. Kill this, please. Put Gandalf next to the well. Buy all the upgrades first, so we have at least one ranger level 10. That's something. Better than nothing. Uh, kill this area. Try to send one of them forward. Kill Faramir next. We build it sitter. And put some heroes next to this one as well. And also this one. This units have to be next. Um, we gotta kill this. We gotta kill this. We gotta kill this. I hope he's not gonna cripple down our uh, Gandalf. Boromir is gonna take his revenge from the movies. There we go. And check this area. There are some rangers. Uh, archers kill them please. And we can also send them forward to scout for some more. When it's Boromir can be sent back until his task is, until his, you know, task has been done. We can also build up the stable around this side. Um, kill this. We're gonna put the rangers a little bit far behind. We can also try to put them inside the tower once again. Okay. Now demolish this one actually. Because we cannot afford many many buildings at the same time on the field. Make two farms here and build up the stable. So with the stable, uh, Varame can join the Gondor Knights and Boromir can be protected of the White City. We gotta indeed use Varame and Gandalf to kill these ballistas fast enough. Suffer game it is, by the way. Suffer game it is. You can also put Boromir next to this outpost to even spot these rangers with more damage leadership, which would be nice. But he would be one-shotting everything besides... Alright, kill this, kill this ballista, man. Come on. One hit. There we go. I don't want to use or waste heal here. The siege is going to continue here. We got to wait for the AOD. <clears throat> we were almost able to destroy this one, but it's not. it was just not enough. We're going to get some Gondor Knights on the fields now. And demolish this. And watch now how fast this Boromir is going to go down. You see this damage from these rangers? Hitting like an absolute track. Trust me on that one. Alright, we are waiting for the Gondor Knights to arrive. We have now, what, two farms outside, outpost. They're in a good spot. And if this guy wanna fight us desperately, we can give him what he wants, right? We can give him what he wants and show him the power of the rangers. Look at this damage, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. Level 10, hitting like a very hard track. And luckily we have no rangers around this side, otherwise they would be autom automatically hitting this mine, destroy this mine. Alright, let's move forward, shall we? And after the second Gondor Knight, we will be able to purchase the Night Chill upgrade as well from the stable level 2. We have almost, uh, we have almost, uh, say it, AOD back up, use Gandalf and Farami to kill the Zitter, and the Gondor Knights to kill the outpost, uh, to kill the last building. Then we can go for a trample, this Isengard's base has been destroyed, but he's not defeated yet because he has still this one under his control. This is still safe, right? Okay. Let's buy this one, shall we? And let's move forward immediately. Let's kill this mine first. Our stable is level 2 now. We can also get some more Gondor Knights to this side. Protect this outpost against something like uh, mines or, uh, you know, against something like uh, towers, uh, you know, trebuchets and catapults I'm trying to say all the time. Let's move forward. We're gonna also use this one. Wizard fight, I take it. Let's fight against this guy, shall we? There we go. Gandalf is a stronger wizard, just like that. And kill this one, please. On waste time. They have now horseman shields purchased, which is very nice. We can kill this farm right after. Kill all the buildings at the same time. Kill also this citadel, please, as soon as possible. Uh, and use visa plus right there, just why not. Okay. 
Nice. With the Gondor Knights, it's kind of easier because we have, we have more mobility and we have some kind of great counter units to the Trebuchet or Catapult spam. And Ballista spam. Ranges on the other side are quite slow in compared to other units, you know? Destroy. Alright, destroy this one as well, which is very nice. Now we can move forward. And one of the opponents has been finally defeated. But it was not as easy as you might think. This is quite hard. By this outpost, if we can, we can make a well here and continue actually. And also join with this uh, one. Go for a trample. There we go. Build a well. And a statue here. Oh, Faramir, please don't die! Oh, just in time. Close. Oh, you wanna use Lightning Sword on me? I see you, kind of. You can also use Lightning Sword on me, my friend. And my Gandalf is level 9 now, which is very good. Oh, we're gonna lose one of the Gundam Knights potentially. We need to kill this catapults. More catapults are coming 24 7. I cannot believe it. Use AOD to kill the Tower Guards and everything else. So focus now the building, shall we? In the meantime, this outpost is still remaining on the field. We can make some more Gundam Knights, just why not? This outpost is also safe. We got tower here. We can afford it. And what we can also do is make some blacksmiths in the front side because once again they are tankier. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Gundam Knights, please move. We have no more heal ability available, so we gotta be careful. AOD is gonna be gone very soon. Like very, very soon. Kill these towers first. Alright. You can also use Easter Light against this tower to one shot that. I don't want to use eagles here. We're gonna try to finish it off without the use of the eagles. Use that blast, just like that. Why not? There we go. Kill this last two remaining buildings, shall we? Now we gotta use Boromir to kill this trebuchet. Because trebuchets outrange the archers in the game. That means our archers in the Cita are not able to target them. Since they are out of the range. Ignore everything and try to kick down this... Uh, building. We can also help with Gandalf. Okay. They have also a lot of armor leadership, by the way, right now. And that goes down the Gondor base, which is very nice for us. And I think he has been defeated as well, which is quite big. I like that. Now we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna demolish this farm, build up the Stormwalker right there, buy this base, and not lose any time, but keep moving. We can also send these units to this side of the map. To save them, to heal them up a little bit. And there comes the... Oh, Boromir died. Oh my goodness, I was not paying attention. Kill this. Don't touch the ants yet. I don't know how he lost Boromir. I was not paying attention for a single second. Looks like he's dying quite fast. Okay, so. Uh, we're gonna build a statue here and a well here. And I once again make some blacksmiths instead of the farms because they are waiting here. So what we're gonna do now is we have kind of level 10 pretty much, but our lightning sword is on cooldown. It means oh there comes the we also lost really. Oh man, we lost our uh say it. The second Gondor Knight, but we have now more Gondor Knights inside the base, so we should be okay. Just be, they need to take down this trebuchet as soon as possible. And these units are gonna check this area for some more tre potential trebuchets. Uh let's use the here, please. There we go, beautiful. Kill this lords next. And Saruman at the same time. Alright. And with that we should be able to protect ourselves. There is also a well we can use to sustain. Okay. And now, we're gonna heal up a little bit. Kill this Urukai. Buy this one first. For some more defense, kill this. And we need to defend ourselves now potentially with the eagles against those ants. Oh, but we need to kill this also, right? Oh, a lot of stuff we have to be doing at the same time, pretty much. Luckily, the eagles are a great counter unit, or counter heroes in this case, because they act like a hero. But look this ram, do you see that? He's able to two-shot our... Um... The one thing I dislike about this, actually, is that the eagles are not automatically attacking, so we have to give them the order 24-7. Kill this end mood, so he's not gonna be able to make any more units, at least. And it's gonna be the first time we're gonna use AOD. Uh, I mean, Word of Power. That's good. I mean, maybe not. You can cancel it, by the way. If you don't wanna use it, you can always cancel it. I'm gonna use it now, dang, damn it. 
There we go, do it. Lost the crest, there we go, everything is gone. Now use the eagles to kill, to deal with these ends, please. Alright. And defend ourselves, shall we? We can demolish this now, no big deal. And we can make some towers instead. We need to also try to protect this one. We have now, uh, we need, uh, but we need it for the strong towers, which means our towers are gonna hurt now more. Kill this trebuchet, defend this outpost, shall we? Kill up a little bit first. In the meantime, we are losing stuff all the time. Kill this first. The outpost is gonna be taken down eventually, so we have to send them back. And Farami is taking way too much damage. We gotta use heal to keep him alive. Use Visa Plus, please. Avoid the spike man. There we go. Visa Plus has been used. Kill back a little bit. Kill this catapult. Uh, kill this outpost. We are able to save the rangers too. Do we, do we have a well? No, we don't have a well. We're gonna make towers instead here, just for some more defense. Uh, the well is around this side, uh, still remaining on. But Farami has been taken down. Unfortunately for us, let's make the tower siege too, shall we? And let's join the party also. Alright. Uh, oh, wait a second, we gotta kill the pikes with the Wizard Blast instead. But I'm not able to right click on them for some reason. Uh, we gotta kill the pikes, that's very important. Uh, Boromium and Faramium, they need to be get, they need to get revived. And uh, there comes the reinforcements finally. I believe we are in a safe spot right now at least. We can also use the um, we can also get some more units on the field. We have so much I mean we have not much more money. What we can also do is demolish one of the blacksmiths. I mean I'm gonna just ignore them. Uh, no, we're gonna use the um Alvin Allies summon to kill with to kill the spikes. No, not Stoneworker, we need to get Marketplace, okay? There we go. Let's move forward now, shall we? I believe this base is in a safe spot because these towers, as you can see, are able to shoot with lasers, so they are dealing way more damage. Defend this area, Elven allies. We gotta kill these catapults as soon as possible. Faramia and Boromir should be joining the battlefield very, very soon. This outpost is gonna be taken down. Unless we might be able to actually defend this one, just why not? And we can afford it. Ignore these archers, they won't be able to deal damage to us. Alright, kill this. Kill this next. Then we're gonna focus down the outpost as soon as possible. Power is... Uh, the city is almost... Oh, 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 be careful. I hate that, that they are spamming so many uh, catapults. It's the most annoying thing in the universe, you know? Alright, let's kill this one. We gotta use heal potentially on our units to... We, heal is on cooldown still, that's why we are not able to use it. Farami is on the field. We can make double tower here. For some more defense. We have also marketplace now up on the field. We can buy all the upgrades. Use Easter Light to kill this faster, shall we? And it looks like we were losing this outpost still. Try to fight back for it. At this, at this point of the game, it doesn't matter that much if we lose, you know, units. As long as we achieve something with them, I'm fine. Did we put Farami inside the tower? No, but we can do it. Uh, we are getting some more Gondor Knights on the field. We can use them also to join Gandalf. Alright. Buy this outpost, just why not. Heal up with this Gondor Knights, make table tower here. Right. Maybe we have some more defense, which is good. Oh, but there are some... Uh, okay, that's why our units are dying. Okay. Now we're gonna move to this Isengard base, shall we? Let's use Cloudbreak to stun the enemy units. This way they are not gonna be able to destroy our, out, our outpost. I can't even talk today. We're gonna use the Eagle Allies summon. Gandalf is gonna use uh, Easter Light against this dude. It's gonna be almost one-shotting him. With the Word of Power, we will be able to finish him off just like that. And also kill all the units in the meantime. Let's use your lightning sword. The eagles are dying very fast. We have to use heal for Gandalf to keep him alive. I don't want to risk the biscuit. Looks like Bar Boromir has been taken down once again. Gandalf is dealing a lot of damage to buildings as well with the uh, lightning sword. Let's remake this tower, shall we? Okay. Please destroy. Ignore lords. You don't have to kill lords at this point. 
Uh, Gandalf, you kill this tower. We finish off this Isengard beast too. Holy moly, man. Hard, hard, hard. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to keep this outpost alive, but we have defeated yet one more opponent from us, which is very nice. We can buy this beast now. And Oh, there is some siege happening once again. Um, which is not the best thing in the in the world, I believe. There comes the uh, uh, trebuchet. We have to kill. We're gonna make towers in the front side, in the back side, and we're gonna make two blacksmiths in the middle. This way, they can protect also this back side. You know, that's the whole premise why we are doing it. Now we can fight back for this outpost, and the next target it should be actually this guy at the bottom right side. I think that's the best thing what we can do. The siege continues. Kill these trebuchets, then we are good. Um, we can go for a Guza Plus here, just why not. And actually, what we're gonna do now, first of all, is... Uh oh we gotta kill this outpost, because he's gonna keep sieging us all the time, you know? Let's try to save this level 5, shall we? We can use Easter Light against the Tower Guards, if they really wanna fight, I don't mind. Um, kill these trebuchets next. Kill up with this Gondor Knight and recruit more. But we are getting now attacked by eagles. That's something we don't like to see that much. And the siege continues. Look how many how many trebuchets he has, man. This is annoying, really. Kill these trebuchets, please. Look, he's even protecting his trebuchets with the tower guards. Do you see that? I mean, we gotta peel. We gotta peel back now. We gotta peel back. We have not even a. Um, we have not even a. See it. A well in the in the camp here, unfortunately for us. And there comes the end summon. <laughs> uh, dude, that's so annoying. This is unbelievable how annoying this actually is. Oh, oh, don't run. But look, Boromir is knocking them down on the ground. This guy really, really want to finish off my... Oh, no, no, it's... Come on, Faramir. Don't do it to me. Look at this. How, uh, trebuchet spam. And now they come... There come the... Micro around a little bit. Join this Gondonites in their mission to destroy this outpost. We are getting some more Gondonites on the field, so we should be fine. We lost the Zitter, we gotta repair it. Bring the reinforcements. And we're gonna use actually the Rohan Allies summon now defensively. Maybe around. No, we can't. Alright, so join them with this, why not? The ends are coming from all the sides. We gotta use. Um, we gotta use AOD. Look how many ants, guys. What can Boromir do against that? The answer is nothing. Look how many ants are still coming. This is unbelievable. Okay, we destroyed this outpost. That's something. I mean, I really wish to kill Rohan first just because of this ant spam, which is disgustingly strong. Like, it's so effective. What can you do against that? And there are 500 ants ignoring all your damage because towers are dealing like zero damage to those ants. And trebuchets are also annoying, yeah, but trebuchets are at least easy to kill, you know? You can one-shot them. Look at this. Gondonites can do that, but they, are, can, they can't do the same against the ants. Okay, there is Gandalf. Let's kill him. Die, Gandalf. There we go. You can also use heal, just why not? And we were able to save us, save ourselves, at least for now. You must be ready. Focus the buildings one by one. I mean, all the all the uh, you need to in those kind of situations you need to make sure to split your you know gondonites to deal the maximum amount of damage by splitting them. You can also now make triple tower here. Just why not? Kill this outpost as soon as possible. We can also cover this elven wood if we really want to. So we have armor instead of them. Now we're gonna attack right after this gondo at the bottom. Oh, but in the meantime though. The siege continues. We're gonna use the Elven Allies summon defensively. You can also use Rohirrim. Doesn't really matter. Oh, we're gonna lose one of the Gondor Knights, though. Let's use Cloud Break, shall we? I mean, we can go for a Visa Plus first. Buy this outpost. Boom. There we go. We can now use the Eagle summon to destroy this base, shall we? You can also go inside with Gandalf and use Water of Power, just like that. 
Uh, but Gandalf, 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 please. Oh, Farami, I'm so lucky that this guy was actually using... Let's put Gandalf inside the tower just in case he might try to finish him off. Kill these towers with the eagles. Focus down. We need to kill the barracks first before he can actually recruit any tower guards, you know? That's what we need to do. Gandalf is in a safe spot. We can make now two towers here. Boromir is protecting this still. And uh, looks like we were able to save this for now, but the Tree Beard is smashing it. Tree Beard is smashing it, so we need to definitely make some more. Also, we can we need potentially some archer range once again. Okay, the Varax is down. Oh, but he was able to get tower guards on the field. Man, this is so annoying. Come on, dude. Don't do that to me. Oh, so I mean we have to try to finish off this um Gondo. Uh, castle or camp at the bottom right side. That's our next goal guys. Okay, that's what we have to do Build this once again, what keeps destroying it all the time? I don't understand Okay, this base is gonna be taken down. There is no way we can save this one Maybe with Faramir, but even with Faramir it's gonna be kind of hard. We can try though I mean instead of giving it up for no reason because Tribute is left alone and Wanding Arrow should be dealing a significant amount of damage to this Protector of the forest. Alright, go for a visa blast. This is so annoying. <laughs> the eagle allies summon once again. I cannot believe it. Use lightning swords here. Let's make a stable here too. Let's make two Gonda, uh, Gonda archers. Let's go like this. Faramir. Oh, Faramir, run for your life, my friend. Look how, look how he's smashing my... <laughs> Two-shotting him, just like that. Two shooting him just like that. Make the stable. The eagles are permanently or what? I don't I cannot believe that. You might lose the stable. Alright, they are finally making a move. Where is Gandalf at? Gandalf is getting attacked too. Water power is still on cooldown. So we cannot use it once again. We gotta deal with the tower guards though. Before we can do anything else. It looks like we were able to save the base for now. We have to revive our... Uh, oh, but there comes the attack. Boromir might be in trouble. Uh, the siege is annoying, and what is even more annoying is this damned ends. Holy guacamole, man. Okay. Rohan allies summon two. Water power is on cooldown. We gotta use AOD now here. Just to kill up, kill everything that we need. And use everything with Gandalf to finish off this Gondor castle. Because we keep losing stuff, so we need to also keep destroying stuff. Okay, ignore everything, Gandalf. Just go inside the jeans. Kill this, kill this, kill the well, kill the archer range, everything. At the very same time, we can move one of them to protect this outpost, just why not? Okay. Alright, let's focus on the buildings, please. Alright. What, what keeps attacking this now? I'm not sure what actually attacks our archers. I can't even see anything because I keep watching all this stuff at the same time. Farami is almost back in the business. Let's kill the well. Ignore this elven units from the summon. Because we, we can go for a wizard blast like we did. Kill this. And if you kill this. Kill this last tower, please. Just focus down the buildings, ignore the units, and once we are able to do that, we should be fine. Look how many ants they have. This is um, do you see that? How many ants? Look at this. I mean, they are not making any other units, like ants only, you know? Okay, at least we were able to save um, or destroy this Gonda base, which is not bad. We defeated one more Gonzo. Let's take a look. So we defeated so far four and still three more to go. And I believe all the factions we have to defeat are pretty much all Rohan, so the hardest ones. <laughs> okay, by this. Move forward. EOD is on cooldown, we're gonna lose this outpost. Farami just came on the field, by the way, and died right after. There is also one Isengard, okay, I didn't see. But now we're gonna focus this Rohan right after. Make two towers, we lost the Citadel too. Mm, we need to make towers here. Yeah. 
Let's use Cloud Break, shall we? To stun the enemy units if he can. Where is Boromir at? Boromir, the space is still safe somehow. Damn. Give some Gondor Knights, repair this please. And try to fight, refight for this outpost. There is also Mordor. Osta Chris! Oh, there's a troll. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Kill this troll as soon as possible. And run for your life, Boromir. Yeah? Oh, there comes the Witch King and everything. Dude. Looks like Boromir is going to be able to get away for now. We lost this entire castle, by the way. There is a high chance that we can also lose this one. I don't know what to say. Kill this. Well, it's not gonna be enough to one shot him though. <clears throat> With the Easter Light, it's not gonna be enough. But it's gonna be potentially enough to force him to retreat. Doesn't care. Look, we can also visa blast the uh, Fairbies, by the way. Watch now. Watch. But he's not attacking us, that's the problem. Look. Oh, but we didn't hit him. <laughs> Make towers here, please. We are losing our stuff. I cannot believe it. The ants are going to war. We are losing this game after defeating four enemies. Can you believe that? Can you actually believe that? Kill this, please. Finally, it's gonna go down. And look at this ants, dude. I don't want to lose this, actually. Where is Boromir? Boromir is actually left alone here. We make archer range. Archer range and a tower. Boromir is down. Paramir is down. We need to revive them. Kill. Look at this. Do you see how many ants they have on the field? They are permanent ants also. Not from the summon. What can you do against that? We gotta use AOD potentially against them, right? That's what we have to do. We have to build a stable, double stable here. I'm gonna use EOD now, defensively. Drama trolls and everything. Our is under Kill this ends in time. Tribute go down, please. Stand ready. Okay. We must we act with the outpost. EOD clean this. Use Rohirrim ally summon two. Kill this uh, baristas. Check with two of them this area if he has actually purchased this one. We have to buy this back, but in the meantime, we are losing this stuff. I'm getting kinda tilted, not gonna lie. This has to stop. We are also not having that much money because we lost the marketplace, so we gotta actually demolish one of these and remake the marketplace because marketplace, in order to keep the upgrades from it, you have to also keep your marketplace protected and ali alive. Very important to do that. Put them inside, buy this back. You are able to destroy, uh, protect this for somehow, uh, and some reason, somehow. But we have to destroy this base next, which is easier said than done. Marketplace is coming up at least, that's something. We have arches inside, Parami is on the field, Boromir is also on the field now, we can protect this area. And kill this, kill this sitter. But first of all, we gotta beat them all together. So we can go for a <clears throat> wait for the units to arrive, then we can use water power right after, just like that. Boom, they are all gone. Kill this. If it's at least a level 10 unit, that's something. Alright, destroy this piece as soon as possible. Okay. So, um, we have some archers coming up very soon, but we are gonna be command points capped very soon too. We have some Gondor Knights now on the field, we can try to make some towers here make some farms here too oh 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 man 
man. Come on, dude. Don't do that to me, please. Buy the space back. Get this one. Beat them inside the towers here. Kill this ant, please. This is a permanent ant too, right? Yeah, it is permanent ant too. We have to kill these Rohans. They are the most annoying stuff right now on the field from our opponent. Um, if we go on the knight here, we can, uh, I mean, go on the archer here, we can place him right in the mid, in the in the in the base at the bottom left side. I cannot even talk because I'm losing stuff. I cannot believe that. This is so hard. Am I doing something wrong? Because the not other games were so easy in compared to this one. I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. Alright, the siege is has or has begun. So we have to kill this uh, again. <laughs> so we gotta kill this outpost next. Uh, join them with also the this the knights here. Just why not? We have no money. That's how it works. We have literally zero money left, guys. Can you imagine that one? Please attack this end. Look how many Gondonites are being killed from this. Are you kidding me? We have no money. That's the problem. We have no money. That's the problem. And we are losing towers too. And more catapults and stuff and that and this and I don't know what is going on. You also, oh look this person, look this AI. How annoying are you, brother? How are annoying are you with the ballistas? Tell me that, please. What is that, man? Who's cloud break? Sun damage, least. Kill towers in the meantime. Use that plus against these units right there. Buy this outpost. Don't, don't lose your uh, archers. I mean, uh, Gondor Knights. We need to use heal here to keep them alive. Send them to the well so they can regenerate, but there is not even a well so far. But we are safe for now. That's something. And we once again lost a lot. There are some units, but they are not even getting targeted for some reason. And look at this. Why is my tower not able to... I mean, this game is like... Kind of trying to make me lose this one, not gonna lie. A lot of odds are against us. Okay. But we have EOD summon now, which is good. And we can try to buy this outpost to make a well. And also buy these farms. We need farms now at this point of the game, guys. We need farms. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna run out of resources. And we are already running out of resources, as you can tell and see yourself, right? So kill this Urukai. I believe... I mean, I believe what we need to do now is kill this Isengard first, at the top right side. Top left side, sorry. I think that's the next thing what we need to do, is for that reason we need to use either AOD or the Eagles, or both at the same time if it's gonna be necessary, to be able to finish off this. I'm gonna use the AOD summon. Just to make sure that they are able to face tank everything. And then we're gonna just focus down. There is some Mordor. We need to kill the Drama Troll. And just focus down the buildings. I mean, we don't have to now. Okay. Kill this Drama Troll. How tanky is he? Are we gonna lose this now? No? No, right? Okay, fine. Alright, just kill the buildings. At this point. Use even, you know, lightning sword if it's necessary. Okay. Kill, 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 kill. That's what we need to do. Why my towers are not able to attack them? I don't get it. Okay. Kill, 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 kill. Nice. But in the meantime... Okay, never mind. We're gonna be in a safe spot here. Alright, this base has been taken down. That's something. But he's not defeated yet, because I believe he has the outpost at the top right side. I believe this is being the case. Unless he bought this outpost with Isengard, which might also be the case. And we will need, in either way, assistance now at the bottom side again, to deal with these ballistas. Uh, let's destroy this one, please. So we're gonna make two towers here once again, make some farms to get some more money. Just like that. There's a berserker coming, we have to kill him. 
can buy also this one, just why not. And also, there is another farm around the top right side, so we can also take it. Okay, we are safe for now. This is under control from Rohan. Okay, you win this one. You win this one. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Use Easter Lights here. Buy this farm. We're gonna use the Alvin Eliza and defensively against this unit. Our towers are gonna be helpful to make them win this fight. Now we can finally buy this outpost. And make also two more towers here. And look our money. We have no money, not even money, to buy this outpost. And we have not even upgraded units now because that's what I'm trying to say. Unlike Mordor or uh, Isengard or even Rohan with Eomir, we have not many ways of boosting money with Gondo. Okay. So, let's buy this one. Let's move forward, shall we? We can also use heal on them to make, sure they make them regenerate a little bit. We gotta send some units back now. And we gotta destroy this Mordor base. I'm gonna send some units not only, of course, to kill this one catapult, but also to kill the siege war. It's very important. I gotta make double well here for speeding up the healing progress. We have now some ranges. I mean, we are full command point wise, that's the problem. So we are not able to recruit any more units right now. But we might be even able to destroy this base entirely, because he has no pikemen as I can see. Okay, this base is gonna go down as well, which is not bad. We are safe for now, around this side too. As long as he has no uh, pikemen or something like that, we need to kill this barista. This base has been taken down, so we can buy this one. It's gonna be nice for us. Destroy this barista, buy this. Destroy this end mood right after. And in the meantime, we can also send them to support this area. Destroy this end. We couldn't even buy this one, really? Okay, wait a give me a second. Let's buy this first, shall we? Kill these buildings, please. Okay. Now we are in a good spot. More ends are coming. It is how it is. Buy this one. Uh, look, the last march of the ends. We can. I'm gonna show you guys the power of Gandalf the White, shall we? There we go. Gandalf, show them they have no place in this world. Just like that. Now we're gonna use Easter Light too. Do one of these. And then we can commit with our Gondor Knights. We can also now use them to buy this one. Uh, let's make double tower here, shall we? Blacksmith, 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 Blacksmith. Oh, what the AOD? Are you kidding me, dog? Good. Use AOD against us. This is horrible. Use AOD against us. I cannot believe it. I mean, I have to believe it, I believe. <laughs> I have. I mean, if this makes even sense, I have to believe it, I believe. Uh, where is the second Gondor Knight? I mean, you guys need to move now, right? You guys need to move, so you need to move too. We won't get attacked from this side, so we gotta move to this base to protect this base at least. And now we can also buy this base finally back. Maybe it was not, not a smart choice to revive Kanda from this one. Because I believe this has not that much protection, but we gotta give it a try anyway. There comes Gimli. We have to avoid fighting him. Kill this ram, so we are not gonna lose our buildings very fast. We have EOD, so we are in a safe spot. Let's make more towers here, and then we are gonna be good to go. We can ignore him and just move to this outpost, which might be the last outpost uh, from our opponent. And use the Rohirrim allies also to defend this base, which would be awesome if we can. Oh, and we're gonna use EOD here. Kill this Mordor. Look how many trolls he has. He was building a army warfare of Mordor, guys. And Mordor is gonna be the next one, but once again... If you are enjoying this kind of content, please, it would be it would be super helpful for me, uh, you know, for me if you guys leave a like and also follow me on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standard. I would really appreciate it and be grateful if I can meet you also in the upcoming live stream. He's using the call the heart by the way to recruit the units very very fast. We need to repair this one. Alright, this outpost has been taken down at least, that's something. This outpost is safe for now. We can now finally buy this outpost. This outpost looks also pretty safe to me, at least. And make some more towers, shall we? But Baristas, oh, okay. Baristas are not good. Gandalf should be back on the field very soon. It was a stupid move from me to lose him like that, but it is so it is. Make two towers here in one farm. We need to always make sure to keep making farms, you know? Let's use the Alvin allies to deal with this Nazgul, shall we? He's gonna try. Oh, Boromir? What, what is Boromir doing? Be careful, Boromir. Don't, don't die. We are repairing the Tita, as you can see. 
Uh, what we can do now is we can use first of all Elven Wood and also Horn of Gondor. Kill the Ballistas. And then we are going to be in a safe spot because I believe we are going to be good since I don't think he's going to be able to kill us now. With this many towers we have on the field. Uh, okay, this is up on the field, which is nice. We'll make a, make a statue here and stuff. Oh, we lost Boromir. These Haradrims all of a sudden are bursting. Oh, oh, don't do that. Don't kill the Zitter, please, I'm telling you. Okay, we need to revive Boromir too. Uh, let's demolish this too and make towers there instead. So if anything goes wrong, we have some more, you know, stuff protecting us. This is still under our control. It should be staying like that also. That was the end mood, right? That we need to kill this end mood as soon as possible. Okay, I believe now, finally, we got kind of the control of the game in our fingers once again. And this one was the hardest so far. I cannot believe it. I was expecting it to be easier than Isengard. Task, task man is there. Task manager. End of the white. Okay. So we have Eagle Summon ready, we have almost Rohirrim Alive Summon ready, we have Ents we have to deal with now, Ballistas getting shooted down slowly but surely, we gotta destroy it. But first of all, destroy this one. Um, we gotta, we can use also our Gandalf to destroy this Ent that has been taken down, that's good, I like that. Kill this Ballista with Gandalf, shall we? And also move to the second, we're gonna use first of all Easter Light against this. Just like that. You move, 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 move. Oh, look how much. What? He's not dying? To my Easter light, really? He's down. I don't want to use Water of Power here, but I might have to. Let's use it. Damn it. Oh, Star Crash. We're losing this outpost. Um, we can, if. No, but I'm not going to use the summon for this, actually, guys. We're going to try to defeat one more player. And I believe this guy here is going to be our next target. I don't mind if he loses outpost. It doesn't, you know, matter that much to be honest with you. For me, is back in the business. We have level ten archers there, and we can also make some rangers if we want to. We need to. Oh, we gotta destroy this outpost first. There are only orc archers coming. I'm not too worried about them. Uh, let's help with one of the Gondor knights to kill this Sita. Right. Nice. There is still one Mordor, right? So we have only one Rohan open and left in this case, right? Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna attack Rohan definitely. In combination with the Eagles and also Clawbreak and Rohirrim. That's the power of Gonzo in compared to all the other factions. We have the best summons, the most summons in the game definitely. I use the Eagles to kill Sita in those kind of situations because Sita is the tankiest. Now we can maybe move with our units forward to capture this outpost with Boromir, Faramir, the captains of Gonzo. In the meantime, we are unfortunately losing this camp, but it is how it is. Because all I care about, I mean, actually, we can save now. Kill the buildings. Um, ignore this. Runes, if we can. Our castle is under attack, I see you. Nice with plus here. Focus down the building, please. The eagles, they should be taking care of these ballistas, no big deal. Let's protect them, and a hard army has been defeated. So we have still two openings left, because I see Isengard and I see also Mordor. But how does it, how is this possible? I don't know, this, uh, maybe they have one outpost left or something, I cannot tell. We will see though. We gotta use the um, Elven Alliance to deal with the pikemen of Mordor, but for now we're gonna move forward. Some more farms here. Uh, money was a big problem. Money was a big problem. We can also buy this outpost, shall we? And also support them. Oh, but our Gondo arches are quite badly damaged. I believe this outpost is under control from Isengard, but this is a mortal base. That's what I'm feeling about. Because there is no other outpost, right? We bought also this outpost, so... Uh, let's do this, actually. Lose, uh, use AOD. Uh, Alright, there is a Nazgul. Oh, that's bad actually for us. Alright, he's attacking our AOD. I mean, our Gondor Knights when AOD is nearby. And if you do that, um, you're gonna lose your Nazgul because you are getting damaged big time. So we can now move to this outpost at the top. Kill the Sitter first. 
Um, do we have some archers? Yes, we have. So we can actually send them maybe to this outpost right there. Because you can see, you know, in those kind of situations, if you cannot use your land, as we cannot, for example, right? We see red, but we can, for, for example, use it here. Even if you have no vision, we can use it, for example, let's check this area, right? We can use it right there. Even if we have no vision. But if we can't use it here, that means he has this outpost under his control. Let's use heal, just why not. And then we're gonna be able to destroy this camp right after. And Boromir and his Faramir, I mean his brother Faramir, they are moving forward. So we have this outpost left and this outpost left. That's all they got, you can match, right? And we have finally some money now. And that's the Isengard's player, that's the Mordor player. So that's the Isengard's player in this case, right? Where is Gandalf at? Look how many ballistas he's spamming, guys. Do you see that? Nostakres. Go back to the shadow, right? Go back to the shadow. You annoying ballista man. Stun them, kill this, because it kills Gandalf, by the way. It attacks Gandalf now with the star one. Oh, it was kinda, kinda really, really difficult. Um, hard army has been defeated. The only thing we need to destroy now is this outpost right there, I believe, right? Yeah, that should be it. We're gonna use the Rohan Ally summon too, just why not? Attack, 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 attack. Yeah, how does he have money though? Imagine him having three siege works. No money resource, no no resource buildings. I see only two mil, one mil. That's it. That's that's all he got, right? But he has still the money to maintain with three siege works. He's cheating. Gandalf don't die. <laughs> Imagine Gandalf getting shot there from this catapult and dying. We cannot afford to win the game without Gandalf. Gandalf is gonna lead us to the victory as he always does. Did he buy this beast back? No, right? No, okay, he didn't. I was scared for a second. Alright, I believe this, this is the last outpost, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below what would you like to see. Um, I would love, I would love to meet you also in the upcoming stream. And if this video gets 1,000 likes, I'm gonna do also the challenge in the map. I'm gonna show you guys in the map, which is called um, Eden Wait. Because on this map, I'm gonna, I can show you for a second how it's looking like. <laughs> on this map, you have no castle, you have no camp either. What you get on this map is a outpost. All right, that's all you got. The outpost, if you don't know what it is, I'm gonna show you now. You will get the chance to see that. You have literally three spots to build and 80 command points and 1,000 resources. That's all you got. And you have to beat seven hard armies. I've never ever tried it before. That's why I'm gonna increase the amount of likes more. 1,000 likes, we're gonna give it a try. I cannot promise to be able to do it, but I'm gonna at least try it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace.